Hello everybody! In this video, we are going to recreate the color grade from Netflix's End of the Fucking World. For this, we used our Swarland look from our Hollywood pack and modified it a bit to replicate the hues and color grade from the series. We're giving away the Swarland lot for free, link in the description. In case you want to check out our entire pack, link for that is also in the description. Let's dive into it. You can see we've already imported and color corrected our shot. In case you don't know how to color correct a shot, make sure to check out our color correction video, link in the description. We'll take this snapshot from the actual show as a reference. Okay, step one. We are going to duplicate the video layer, place it on top of the existing layer. Add Lumetri panel to this layer and set the saturation to zero. Then we're going to set the blending mode of the duplicated layer to overlay. Finally, set the opacity to somewhere between 50 to 60. This process is called bleach bypass. Moving on to the second step. Add an adjustment layer above the footage. Add another Lumetri panel. Let's reduce our highlights to match the overall brightness of our reference shot. Then we are going to add another Lumetri panel. We'll go to the Creative section and apply Swarland Mod LUT. Right off the bat, it looks nothing like our reference shot. So first, we're going to reduce the intensity of our LUT to say 55%. This seems perfect. Now as you can see our reference image is a bit warm and towards magenta. We'll slide the temperature slider towards the right to add a bit of warmth to our footage. Then we'll slide the tint slider towards the right to add a bit of magenta. Great! This has already started to look more like our reference shot. Now if you look closely, our reference shot is a bit desaturated. So we are going to reduce the saturation by say 10 to 20%. This seems fine. And there you have it. A film look that matches closely with the color grade of End of the Fucking World. Moving on to the second type of shot, which is a midday shot. Again, we've already color corrected the footage. First, we are going to add the bleach bypass effect with 50% opacity. Second, add an adjustment layer above the footage. Add a Lumetri panel to it, and let's apply the Swarland Mod LUT in the Creative section. Again, the LUT is too strong, so let's start by reducing the intensity of the LUT. Second, as you can see, our reference image is a bit on the warm side with lesser magenta tones. Let's reduce the magenta tones by sliding the tint slider towards the left. And we're going to add a bit of warmth by sliding the temperature slider towards the right. Cool. And now we have the midday look from the end of the fucking world. Here's the before and after. Our third shot is an indoor shot. Now for this one, we've deliberately picked footage which matches our reference shot in terms of color structure. That's to show that the entire color grade is actually made up of minor changes and not heavy grade work. Again, start with the bleach bypass. Add an adjustment layer, and finally, add a Lumetri panel. First step, add the Swarland Mod LUT. Now we see that our image is more on the magenta side as compared to our reference shot. Simply shift the tint slider towards the left, and we've got our perfect look. As an extra adjustment, let's fix our skin tones. We'll add another Lumetri panel, go to its HSL section and select Skin Tones. Let's quickly refine our mask. Now, we see that our reference skin is a bit pink, so we're going to slide the tint slider towards the right. This will introduce some magenta in our skin and will make our skin look a bit more like our reference skin tones. If you want to learn how to fix skin tones, I'll leave a link in the description. Finally, we have our end of the fucking world inspired film look. I've linked the free LUT down below. I've also linked our Hollywood pack in case you want to check them out. Follow us on Instagram at colorist.factory and subscribe if you haven't already. That's all for now. Until next time.